You'll notice that the CS4 Photoshop workspace looks a little bit different than the previous versions. And what I'm going to do in this lesson is just review with you some of the differences so that you can get a really good, comfortable feeling with working with the lesson files in this book. Now, first of all, you'll notice that I have opened uh, PS0201, um, and this file is located in your PS02 lessons files. So I have this open on the screen. You'll see the toolbar down the left. You'll see something new, which is called an application bar across the top. And then, of course, you've got your menu items and then your options bars. Now, you'll also notice that there's a panel docking area off to the right. And then here's my tool panels that can be displayed either as a single column or a double column. And when I'm working in this, you'll also notice that some of these tools have little hidden tools within them. And you can tell these tools because they have the little arrow down in the lower right. So for instance, if I click on the lasso tool and hold, I can access the polygonal tool or the magnetic lasso tool. Now, these tools, I'm going to put it back into single column, are divided into different categories to help you to find the tools you need when you need them. This first category is the selection, cropping, and measuring tools. The second category is the retouching and painting tools. The third category are the drawing and type tools. And then, of course, the fourth category are the new 3D tools and some navigation tools. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the blur tool and then select the smudge tool that's underneath. Now, notice when I select this tool that my options appear differently here than they did with the lasso tool. So let me go back. And now I can access a brush because perhaps I want to change my brush size as I'm smudging. Or I can access the blending mode or the strength of this particular brush. But I'm going to just choose from this drop down menu 100. And you'll notice that when I come out here and start clicking, that it's smudging it. Now, other things just to notice, um, let's say that I want to zoom in as I'm working on this. I can, of course, use the view menu, which gives you zoom in, zoom out, fit on the screen, actual pixels. But I can also use keyboard shortcuts to easily get around in here. Like, for instance, control plus, 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 or minus, minus, minus. I can also use my zoom tool. But notice that when I use my zoom tool, I don't just click, but I click and drag and create a marquee. And when I click and drag to create a marquee, Boom, it zooms in exactly to the area that I need. And then, of course, I can zoom out quickly by doing Control-0, which is fit in screen. Now, some other things just to note. I can also work in here by just simply changing my workspace. Like, for instance, if I press F, you'll see that I'm cycled through different views. Um, this is my presentation mode, back to just my regular mode, and then I've got my... Uh, Expanded mode here where I'm seeing gray that's covering the whole entire desktop area and everything, which is actually very helpful, especially if you have applications that are showing through and you want to focus directly in Photoshop. Hitting F again cycles me through. Now, other things that can help you while you're working, notice that when I press the tab key, the panels and the tool panel disappear. When I press tab again, they come back. Shift tab, just the panels off to the right disappear. Shift tab, and they come back again. 